Morning, Fraser. Hope your day is going well so far. <laughs> yes, I sat up so I could be out of the picture. <laughs> I thought she gave me a dirty look is what I thought, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Tuesday, not sure what's going on today yet, but uh, we will figure that out. we got a few things we got to do. i got to get some insurance for the truck. Uh, look for a part for the, uh, for the lawnmower, and yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Let's go. All right, no, uh, we went out to a, like a junkyard kind of thing and found this, but it's not, just to, to see really if it was the right size and all that sort of stuff, which it is but it's not the right shape and it's too short for what we need. So I'll have to make either wait uh, until I hear back from a, a kid in town <clears throat> that um, kid, you know, 20s now, I guess, that uh, repairs um, lawnmowers and does uh, uh, yard, le yardscaping, landscaping and stuff like that. And he's gonna check his, uh, like, you know, the, the ones that he has left to see if he has anything there. But if not, <clears throat> I've got a, a bar in the back. Um, it's basically, it's a stand for a garbage bag. That's the right size. Uh, as far as the thickness of the metal goes, uh, I'll just have to somehow manufacture it. <laughs> but we'll see. But for now, I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to, there's a couple things I want to do. I'm, I'm really tossing around this idea about the, the fishing line, the braid. I'm not using my trolling rods right now, but I could use my trolling rod <clears throat> as a uh, as a jigging rod if I so chose. But I could also use it. I could just put the braid on and try the and try the the braid with the camera on the trolling rod. And then if I like the way it's working, <clears throat> then I can go ahead and you know buy some more braid for. Uh, for one of these lines for it kind of thing for one of the uh the casting rods because this thing i looked it up on on uh youtube and yeah people cast this thing all the time it's, it's designed the, the go fish camera is designed to be cast so i was worried it would break but it won't so right so i am going to take this apart off what have you however you want to put it look at all the junk on here look at all that just nasty from that that bloom that was going on, man, oh man, that's gross. It's time to replace this line anyway. It's been on there for a couple years. A couple years is reasonable. Because that way, when I uh, when I go to use this GoPro and we go jigging, or even if, if we actually do get out and, uh, and put a line down, whether it's for, that's actually kind of a cool idea, whether it's for prawns, or uh, or anything, I could actually send this thing down, the GoFish camera down, to have a look at it first. That would be really cool, actually. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. I, lo I like it. This is just gross. Let's clean off the rod a little bit. This is gross. The last thing I want to do is put more, put new uh, line on here with all that junk on there, right? Just to get it all nice and clean. Put a little bit of light oil in there at some point here. Oh, I shouldn't be doing this in these jeans. All right, I think we'll leave that for a little while because I got to go get the. Uh, I want to get some 40 pound test to put as as backing line uh, before I put the braid on. This has never really worked, this here. This is the, uh, the silent line. Oh, well, you know, it's working. <laughs> Still makes noise, but... Not nearly as much. See? Now it's not working. Doesn't really matter. Let's 
Somebody might be here. Probably male. I'm going to check and see if the other one does that. Naturally. Well, it's going to be done too, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. So this one, the uh, the clicker works properly. So I'd rather do the uh, the braid on this one because if I do wind up using this for a jigging rod, then it's got less resistance because it's got no clicker on it. So, so let's do that. Let's start the process again, shall we? Here, but I can go there. Sounds good to me. That sounds good to me. It's kind of in the way of the camera. But, so be it. Alright. Alright, gonna go down and get some insurance for my truck and uh, pick up uh, the line that I need to get this started. And then we'll put the uh, the braid on. Okay, I literally went to four different stores. I was going to say 12, but you, you'd know I was lying because, you know, there's not 12 stores here. But literally went to all four stores in town here that have fishing line. None of them have the uh, the trilene big game with the bright color that I'm that I'm looking for. So, uh, marine, well, not in the thing that I do myself. The... Uh, Marine Trader says 20 pound test in, in on bulk, and uh, I'm sure Sam's down at uh, Power Road Doors probably had some in bulk as well. But again, I want to do it myself, so I guess that's my my choice, my issues, my problem. So, but that's okay. Uh, so for right now, what I want to do is clean this up a little bit, same way I cleaned up the other. And then I'm going to try a snell hook on this, and I've never done that before on one of these. So that's kind of unique for me. I'll clean up the hooks, because this goes into the, uh, the King Candy. So yeah, we'll, we'll try that. We'll see how it goes. The only reason I'm cleaning this up is because these seem like decent hooks, and they're really not even rusted. They're just... I don't know whether they were... Galvanized, which I'm probably taking all the galvanization off of it if that's what it is. If that's even possible, I don't know if that's possible. It is actually. I know if you grind it off, it will come off, but will steel will do that? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe this thing will rust like crazy when I put it back in. And this is just all, it's not even really rust or corroded. It's, uh, it's more just gunked up from the, all the, I use anchovy paste, right? There's uh, like stink bait you can put on on these king candies to to uh, attract the fish, and I like the anchovy uh, anchovy paste because I figure why not? If it replicates an anchovy, why not give it as much chance as I can? Who says this is a bad idea with a hook? Bad idea. I do. I'm not sure how this is gonna work, but we're gonna give it a shot. So I couldn't get. I went to I went to restring this while I was uh, out on the boat. And I couldn't do it. Couldn't find it, so I don't know whether it was just just filthy or what the deal was. Inside again because of all the gunk, right? Or whether there's a great gob of stuff in there that I need to deal with. Which looks like it might be a possibility. <laughs> Alright, so I don't need the uh, it's this stuff actually that I that I want. This color. I like this color. Cause it's easy to see the line when you're uh, when you're trolling. My uh, my leaders I usually do in like a fluorocarbon, but uh, I like the main line in this stuff so I can see it. I didn't have any in that, but I did have an old because I only started using the the bright stuff uh, a couple years ago. But I did have an old thing of trialing big game uh, that's 40 pound, which is what I want. That uh, is not bright color, so I will use that. 
all I, excuse me, all I really want it for is backing line for the uh, the reel before I put the uh, the braid on because it just will adhere better. I don't need a ton of it. I just want some, you know. So our internet's having a meltdown. Our internet's having a meltdown. Our internet. I can't remember which one we're supposed to unplug. Um, yes. Oh. I did cut the uh, the things. I just don't put the oil and stuff. How long do you take to put this on? Uh, they take thirty minutes at four hundred degrees. Did you uh, did you put them in yet? I cut them. I didn't get a chance to put them in. That's fine. Bite. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. As long as they're not in the oven, I'll I'll take care of that in a second. Yeah. So all good. They're clean and stuff. Nice. I prefer my sk spaghetti squ spaghetti squash. I prefer my spaghetti squash all nice and you know gutted and cleaned. I love my spaghetti Baking or? It's baked. Oh, well. Hold on. I'm kind of old school. With my feet. So, you know. I can do it from way over here if you want. No, you can't. I can do it from oh. here. I have my handy dandy uh, camera person helping me out. She has volunteered. But she's way over there. But I'm sure you'll hear her from there. Hmm. I'll do. Yeah. What? Again, I didn't need much because it's just a, it's just a backing line. Okay. I've got. Uh, this is what the the braided line is going to go into. For the camera? Yeah. Oh, okay. I like your idea. The more I think about your idea, it was Allie's idea. It was Allie's idea. Allie had an idea. It was Allie's idea. She doesn't even remember her idea. Allie's idea was to basically string up the trolling rod so that we could just put it down and see what's going on down there. And the more I thought about it, the more I like it because we can actually drop this down to see things like the, the crab trap before it actually comes up. Or we could drop it to see the prawn traps maybe if I can get the... If the but you won't be able to see it though. No, 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 I'd have to drop it down and then bring it up. Right? But I'd want to just drop it down and let it see what's down there first and then pull it up so we can see it in the water. So we can see if there's like 5,000 crabs all sitting around it but not inside the cage? Yeah. 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 All with protest signs or something like yeah. that. I'm not really sure yet. Or laughing because you forgot to lock the gate up the yeah. wrong way or something. And they're all walking away with the chicken and stuff. <laughs> so. Again, I don't have the uh, stuff that I normally have. A fluorocarbon, but that's okay, because not a lot of this is seen anyway. This is also trialing in big game. This is 30 pound test. I want to do the, uh, the double snow knot using that thing. Lots of fun things happen. Mm -hmm. Very easy okay. to do these snow knots. So, basically I just feed it through. Come back around, feed it through a second time. All right. That line... That line? I don't know. This line, the main line, is going to stay straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the line that's going to be straight, fold over the line that's not going to be straight, and I'm going to kind of put it right into that little elbow in there. Gentle. There we go. And I take these two fingers, and I make sure this line is always straight. Right? One, two, three, and that's when you start getting mixed up, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know why, but I like doing ten. I like to wet it a little bit, just like I do my knots. So, and it should pull. If it doesn't pull right away, easily, then you've strung it wrong. And you've accidentally wrapped up... Um, 
what should be the straight line around the hook, right? There we go. So obviously I missed the, uh, I missed ra caught, uh, catching this and wrapping this on the last one. No big deal. That gets cut off anyway. There we go. So before I forget, because I want to keep this as, you know, true as possible. Oh, I found the big barbecue one. There we go. Ooh. Just putting this on the, oh, this for whatever reason on the King Candy. This is on there just to protect the line kind of thing, which is kind of cool. I like that. So then again, I'm going to treat this as though it's it's one of the bent hooks. It's not, but I'm treating it that way. So I was going to go down from the top. I don't want to go down from the top. This is going to be the line that attaches to the actual quick release, right? So I'm going to come up back through the back and basically straight up. And take my oodles of line and go back through again because this is actually the uh, the portion that's going to go to that that quick release so never done one with these kinds of one of these kind of hooks before so this is going to be a bit of a challenge but that's okay i like challenges in theory that's what it's going to look like in actuality <laughs> i have no idea I've got to leave it long enough because I've got to be able to wrap it, right? So that's the line that goes through. That's the line that's going down. And basically just the same thing. This one line here is going to stay straight. And then this line on this side wraps around every time. But it's a matter of making sure I do it properly. One. Two. Oh. Nine, ten. So, again, wrapping it, coming up. It came up nice, which means that uh, it's it's done properly, essentially, right? Now the dangerous part: <laughs> pulling on this double snow knot. I can spin that just a little bit. So that's in the back portion, doesn't really matter. So there we go. Double snow for that. That is going to go through here. If I can find it again. I got it through. There we go. Restrung King Candy. Pretty happy with that. I like this lure. I really do. Um, saying this in front of Allie, but I am going to get several more of these this year. I'm going to use these a little bit more, I think. What? Um, I'm also going to really stick mostly that I'm just, I don't plan on buying any other jigs this year other than Macfish. Macfish, 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 Macfish. Mac Deeps are very similar for me, uh, but the problem is Mac Deeps, and I don't know why, but a Mac Deep has a tendency to, I think every time it hits the bottom, it actually curls up, right? And so it goes out of shape. It goes, it already looks like a bit of an S, but then it looks like an S with a fancy little schmancy little thing. It bends on the bottom. It bends on the bottom huge, right? And it, it really affects it. So the Mac fish don't seem to do that. And I fish them both the same way. So I don't know what the difference is, but the Mac fish for me works way better than the Mac Deep. Mac Deep still works, works great on fish, but as soon as, it gets that bend in it that's the only reason i don't like it right so and i and i don't know why one does it and one doesn't it doesn't make any sense unless there's a unless there's some sort of a difference in the uh in the makeup of the the lead the metal or something like that right but i don't know but for me i like the macfish animated knots i use this all the time by grog arr, arr. i don't know why grog i don't know what that means all sorts of different uh, different types of knots. Neckties, household horn, horse and farm, fishing, arborist, sure, climbing. All right, so what I want, I want the Albright knot. Joins unequal fishing lines. So what I am joining is braid, 
65 pound braid might be. But even a 65 pound braid, as you well know, Fraser, is a different size, right? So, and again, got the colored stuff because I like the colored stuff, you know. I like to be able to see my fishing line. The cool thing about this app is that I can pause it step by step by step. Ten times, wrap it ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, coming back up on ten. And I go through that same loop. There we go. And wetting the lines. I'm sure it's you can even see it. It's good. It's all done. See what I like about braid, right? Even with scissors, it's hard to cut. Beautiful. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I've lost my camera girl though. Now she's paying attention. Got my camera girl over there. Show them what you're doing. She's got a very important job that she may or may not be, you know, completely ignoring. That's fine. Allie's doing a great job over there. Great job. Say what you really want to say. I did say what I really wanted to say. She's doing a great job. I don't even have to put any pressure on the on the line yet. It's like I got like a three or four pounder on there. It's good. Oop, that was a little loose. Started swimming right at me there for a second. How much are you putting on there? All of it. Are you kidding me? No. Allie's not complaining nearly as much as she used to with doing this. Only because of the camera. She hates this. Oh, that's the end. Oh, okay. We're done. That was the jobs for the day. Good job, honey. Well, oh, thank you. Good job. <laughs> Open it. <laughs> Put it in my hand. Oh, look at Ellie's hand. She's freaking out. You want to see? Look at that. It's all black. Ow. Hey Fraser, how you doing, bud? I hope you're. Uh, I hope you're having a decent day. So today wasn't a huge day again. You know, it was. Uh, it was cleaning up uh, fishing reels. <clears throat> I really didn't do much with all the, the lines and stuff and getting stuff prepared. But I, <clears throat> I cleaned up the fishing reels, cleaned those all up, boiled them up a little bit, and. Uh, then wanted to go because I want to put I've been using 30 pound test I want to go to 40 pound test um, on the one I'm gonna use braid on the other I've got 65 pound braid on the other because I'm gonna use that with the uh, the go fish cam <clears throat> and Ali had suggested you know using that same trolling rod for the go fish cam when we're actually jigging and stuff um, just because a I can actually cast with it and I can I can jig with that rod if I needed to, but I can also just kind of have it sitting down below just to see what's below us and uh, and seeing, yeah, the prawn traps, crab traps. I, I think that's cool. I think it's a good idea. So <clears throat> so I did all that, and then I put the, uh, I found some 40-pound tests because nobody, like four stores, seriously, nobody nobody has the, the stuff anymore. I don't know, the, the bright stuff. I like the bright stuff because I can see it clearly. When I'm, especially when I'm running the boat and trying to see, you know, when I'm turning and stuff, how straight things are and all that sort of stuff. But that's, you know, nonetheless. Um, and then because I didn't, I didn't bother picking up the fluorocarbon leader either because I was looking in each spot. And there's no sense buying, you know, line from one place and then line from the other. Because <clears throat> I figured for sure the last place I went was Walmart. Oh, they'll have it, right? Seagar. Everybody has Seagar stuff. Nope. Nor did they have Trilene. So they didn't have 
anything there. So uh, so when I did up the uh, the King Candy, I used you know some Trilene 30 pound test to the monofilament leader that I had there. So that'll be fine. I'm not too worried about that. I like the action on those on those King Candies. They're basically a little anchovy. They're perfect. Uh, I put a little uh, little anchovy paste in there, and they work great. So and strung the uh, did, strung the the line on the one reel. So the only thing that I that I have an issue with is that when I when I used to use braid on these downriggers actually um, like five six years ago whatever it was they didn't stay in the quick release well they they pop out like my my 30 pound test does now right uh, I have to use it on the heavy setting last year I asked the guys at Marine Traders uh, you know like have you heard of guys having problems with this and what do they do well they take the line the the braid and what they do is they make a little loop and they twist it so that it kind of doubles up the the uh, the diameter of the line, right? So so it'll actually clamp on there and hold. So so I'm gonna try that. I'm hoping that will work. We'll see. I, I'm paying 50 bucks for this camera. It's not a big deal, right? But <clears throat> still, I don't want to lose it if I don't have to. I want to be smart about it. We'll see. And I'm I'm really I'm really stoked. I watched a few uh, few videos, and I'm pretty stoked about it. Actually, I think it's gonna be kind of cool. So. All right, <clears throat> we've moved on to John chapter 15. This is still Jesus speaking to his disciples. He said, I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. My father cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. So Jesus is talking to the disciples, but also to Christians, people who have accepted Christ. What would the fruit be? If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. What fruit? What are we talking about? Pineapples? Pineapple fruit? I don't know. Um, I'll tell you exactly what we're talking about. If we swing over to Galatians 5, starting in verse 22, <clears throat> Paul writes and says, The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. If you remain focused on Jesus, if you remain focused on Christ and focused on God these things will continually grow in you I can speak for that myself because <clears throat> man oh man you know my patience was pretty close to zero you know before a year ago before I had my argument with God <clears throat> I was not being very fruitful I was really not paying attention to, to God much um, yeah, the kindness, the self-control, the gentleness, you know, all of that stuff was was a struggle for me. Not to say that I don't still struggle with some of those things. Uh, sometimes my patience is still a little short. <laughs> That's the fruit that, that Jesus is talking about. Everybody, like I say, I hope you had a good day today, bud. God loves you very much. I love you. I miss you. I do look forward to seeing you. And I will post more tomorrow.